Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fableheim and Smyings Ascension to the Jin Dynasty. We resume our turn. And the very first thing that we're gonna do Thrust is double tap and strike Kong Jin Win to get rid of this army once and for all. A Pyrrhic victory. This is still a victory. And that's perfectly fine with me. Picture victory! And it will be yours. See? Mm, I guess we'll take the money. Let the captives go. Three percent isn't enough replenishment to Point really select. As one. And goodbye. Permanently. I hope. <laughs> when justice ah. triumphs, revelry awaits. We've captured Gu Jin Wen, and if you've watched any of my other playthroughs with Har Yi and Kong Rong, I have a obsession with beheading people. But Sima Ying is our beloved governor. He does not behead people without good reason. It would be unjust to punish them further. And we kind of need the money. But more importantly, Truth. the Unified whole morality attention. thing. Morality and leniency. Okay, that was a good first turn. Do we want to take a look at diplomacy? I guess. Huh. Anyone with non-aggression? We could try non-aggression with the Jin Empire, just in case they decide to be hostile. But they're not that interested. I guess we'll hold off for now. We can resume diplomacy soon. Shizu is still a little upset. Poor lad. He'll get over it. Now then. Welcome to the second episode. For those of you who made it through the first episode, hi. I appreciate you. Ooh. See if we can squeeze more money out of this guy. And I have some questions for you. Specifically one. Uh, we don't really need two of these, do we? And that is not on this screen, but I'll show you. I'll show it in a minute. It's for the ultimate campaign goal. Should we try to become emperor or regents? It's a good question. And the answer will kind of depict the choices that we make moving forward. Even though I don't really know what those choices are yet. I just know they exist. 700 gold now, 200 gold for 10 turns. Yeah, looks good to me. Thank you. So we take a look at the faction ranking thingy. Faction summary screen. As you can see, the ultimate victory is to subdue our seven other brothers in one way or another and become either regent or emperor. As regent, we gain some prestige, we lose diplomatic relations with factions of prince rank or above, which are moderate to large sized factions, and we gain diplomatic relations with all minor prince factions. We also gain a bunch of diplomatic relations with the Jin Empire because obviously we didn't take them over. If we become emperor, we put the crown on ourselves. We gain a ton of prestige, uh, lose diplomatic attitude with most factions, and the emperor will then leave his throne if we claim ourselves as emperor, and join another faction, and the faction that gets him it will probably hate us. So those are really the decisions. I did learn, after the first stream and did some more reading, I'll, go, I'll explain after this. <laughs> Sima Wei requested Cao Huan to join their war against this lady, Jiang Jiangli. Sima Zhang signed a peace treaty with Zhu Ruo. Jin Empire requested Sima Ji join their war, and Jun Ruo joined their war against somebody. And our good advisor Lu Ji is now Oswarm with us. Zong Bao Yue. Eh. So this guy, whoops. This guy, Cao Huan, was the emperor before Emperor Hui. He was Emperor Wu. And he was the one that made us the Prince of Chengdu, which is where we start. A good nod to history, CA. And, um, ultimately what happens the merchants. I would browse their goods. is that when Emperor Hui becomes emperor, we are, or Sima Ying, becomes one of his regents, I think. Somewhere in history, he becomes one of the two regents. And so, in history, it would make sense for us to go regency, if we were to follow history's path. But, we could, you know, become emperor and follow our own path. But that's a question for the long term. The more immediate question is, what do we do here? Our brother, Sima Gong, very rudely descended south and took Han Zhang from us. 
We do have this Not possible. weird army from Sima Wei here, just watching our toolmaker, I guess. Or we continue to go north against Yo Ying Zhu. Hmm. I'm inclined to go north to start building the Silk Road, because I figured that's probably how we're going to make the most money. And I love money. Always forwards. And of course, it's always a good idea to eliminate your foes when you have them on the run. But I don't know what this garrison looks like. It could be really scary. Because obviously the Silk Trader is abandoned. So we'll see. A thought. And I put two Axe Band in here because, well, I like seeing the retinue completed. And just in case anyone else decides to come south. Now I had... I received a wonderful suggestion that's actually just a good idea. And that is to claim this Armor Craftsman of Chengdu. See, she wants peace. Hmm. Think we'll reject for now, but remember that that's always an option. You expected gratitude, huh? You should have given me more money. <laughs> Zimoe commander their vassal Kong Jin went to join the war against this person. Zimoe. The Jin Empire requested Sima Ji to join their war. Jin Empire requested Zhu Ruo to join the war. And Jiang Jingli signed peace with Sima Wei, which peaced out with the other vassals. So the suggestion I received is to go claim this armor craftsman. The sooner that we claim it, Remain the sooner we can more. get ancillaries rolling in, the sooner we can get ancillaries rolling in, the sooner we can use them for diplomacy and money. It's a brilliant idea. And so that's what we're going to save for. We need 4,000 gold, I believe, to claim it. And so we're a bit short at the moment. <laughs> Even shorter now that I've bought some Axe Band, but it's worth it, okay? I think. Strike what concerns now. me more, besides this decisive victory that we're just going to delegate, Cutting is of a brute Sima Ying's army isn't Let full. Us make use of it. Who in our prince? You have established yourself worthy. As a worthy power. There are two words in there. Your achievements have marked you out as one to watch, but the Sima clan is vast, and you will need to progress further if you are to prove yourself a worthy contender for the Regency. Of course, if you have little time for such titles and legitimacy, you could always seek to put yourself on the throne by force. <laughs> we could. Will we? I don't know. We have secured Wudu. And Shi Chao has leveled up. What were we doing with Shi Chao? I love a tenacity of steel. So one way or another, we want this. This is also good. Melee evasion on retinue. Oh, oh. 40% income from Commerce Silk and Spice administered commandery. And since we're looking for silk income anyway, I think that's what we're going to do. He's going to become one of our best administrators. Probably. We're going to try and make him one. So here, we're still safe. No one has come out for vengeance for the army that we destroyed. My blade is poised. Yet. The goal is fixed. Is it fixed? And now that we're a prince, we have chancellor and administrator available to us. For chancellor. These are faction-wide effects, remember. I like satisfaction. Shizu. You need one of these positions, but I'm not sure which yet. This would be a faction-wide peasantry income bonus, which isn't bad. At all sources, but reduction to satisfaction. 10% income, all sources, and research rate, but we lose morale. Do you think we can stomach the morale loss? Ew, you're awful. Ooh. Satisfaction, melee damage for melee infantry faction-wide, and campaign map movement range. Okay. Congratulations, Chishong. You are now a chancellor. As for the administrator slot, oops, that has to go to Shizu, who is currently on assignments. So if we call him back from that, we can make him administrator next turn. I hope he has good effects, because he just needs it to not hate everything. We could increase our trade influence, not that we are making too much from trading. 336. Okay. So we get like 115 or so. Probably still the best thing to do, right? Where's our money? 
210 from industry, some industry, and some industry. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We will increase trade influence. I'm kind of curious what this garrison is, but we could always peace out with her now. She only owns this, Jincheng. So we peace out with her, and we kind of turn our attention to the east. Here's Chong'an. And here is our brother, Simo Wei, who we are currently uh, at war with. Probably our biggest rival at the moment. We can invoke council. What do you want us to do, Shishong? Overpopulation. Overcrowding can be like a sickness, gradually weakening a settlement until its demise. Consider expanding the city, giving the people room to develop and displaying our magnificence to all of China. We will get satisfaction for sentinels and income from industry faction-wide. And of course, satisfaction for Shishong. But I think he's already happy with us. Hmm... I think we're going to go... I don't know. We should check out the horse pastures. Simo Wei requested Cao Huan to join the war against me. You made me the Prince of Chengdu, Cao Huan. And now you're going to war with us? Mission issued, control the capital. The time has come. You have gained significant, gained sufficient influence that you can now make your move on the capital, Luoyang. Conquest is the most direct route, but a diplomatic annexation may also be possible. You are now of a sufficient you are now of sufficient rank. Why can I not read that word? To guarantee at least some support where you should take the Imperial Capital. Doing so will greatly boost your prestige and bring you closer to victory. Annexation, huh? Before that, Shizu. So you uh, reduce construction costs by 1%? Wow, thanks. Get 6k pop growth and 20% income from peasantry. That is what I'm talking about. Guess you're going to Baji. So now he should be perfectly satisfied. Where are you? Yep. And now he just says minus 6 for general discontent. Good. I was going to look at diplomacy. So the Jin Empire. I can request to join the coalition. You're in a coalition? Ooh. Hmm. No one likes me. It's okay, I'll just form my own coalition. He's not feeling it either. That's okay. We'll, you know, come around to it. Let's take a look at this. It is winter, so moving too far is unideal. Consider and act. Impossible. So she isn't scary. Oh, but that's terrifying. Heavy Halberd Cavalry. Okay. So what I'm thinking about this is that we would lose if we try to take this right now. Just because our army's not full and our front line is, well, lacking at best. So we can try to ambush and see if she'll try and take back her Silk Trader. She is at full strength for her retinue. So she might consider it. If she doesn't move and just decides to sit here, we could always peace out with her and go this way. Or this way. This way first. I want this Silk Trader. And to destroy my brother, Sima Gong. Be the sword. We are still fine. Kong Zhen Wen has obviously learned her lesson. Unfortunately, I am pretty far off the funds required to With settle purpose, that city. I am at one again. Well, that uh, county. Could we resolve that through diplomacy? Probably not. We're at war with you, war with you. Wait, are we at war with everyone? Not this guy. I need to go to negotiate. Ah, you're a vassal of Simo Wei's. Not you again. This is the first time I've talked to you, I think. How about a dog? How much will you give me for a dog? You are very poor in food. Ooh. Two food. That weighs quite a bit. 
Uh, regular payments seem to be a no-no. And so is 2,000 gold. Hmm. Is this worth it? This doesn't feel worth it. My only hope is that if he... So if Sima Wei makes Sima Mo go to war with me, then the 10 food that we're trading him, or the 2 food per turn, will, you know, end. Because obviously we're at war. Otherwise, is it worth this much? Ugh, I don't know. I don't know about this. How much will you give me for the clay dog? Alright, I feel much better about this. Just half my dog. It's okay. I'm trying to find the perfect number. Art of the deal. That's the mine. Ah, so close. 80. There we go. 1,080 gold for a dog. It's fine. Fine. My. Me. And again, because we're trying to build this... We're holding out and upgrading. Small way. You would give us peace. Now this could be... Oh, no. It's my toolmaker. <laughs> like, this could be a good idea, but he wants my toolmaker. Bro, I need that. I need all the money I can get right now. Uh-oh. Shishong. I require your help. Jin Empire requested Zhu Ruo to join their war. The coalition between Zhu Ruo and Sima Ji became an alliance. And this guy left, the Jin Empire. The Empress demands that traitors be crushed. It is clear now that many have seen opportunity in the chaos at court, and their own treasonous desires have manifest. The Empress has charged you with being the sword of justice that cuts down the would-be usurpers. Huh. Really? I thought the Empress hated Simaing. Gather money. Build. We are going for the mind alignment, but we are pretty far away from... Wait a minute. Why does the next alignment give us minus five satisfaction faction-wide? It gives us 50% research rate, though. Oh, my. We aren't near any others. I guess we are trying to build our reserves, so maybe we do that? We're trying to do this anyway. You will need reserves if war is coming, and so you begin those preparations. The Empress's reply is as curt as it is definitive. It is only fair that each must pay however they can, with whatever means they can. Regardless of the method, however, I do expect you to deliver. You will receive a dilemma allowing you to spend this money in return for various effects. Oh. Maybe I should have picked the mind thing. <laughs> oh well. Chi Shang is heading back to defend against Kong Zhenwen herself. Don't spend the money, resist the urge, it's okay. Yu Ying Xu has not moved. Alright. I don't think that we have time to sit here and wait for her to move. So what can we get out of this? She's poor. Ugh. Let's see. How far can we take this? We don't really have any good ancillaries. I'm just... I just want all of your money, really. Her turn's probably not a good idea, huh? When they're that broke. Wait a minute. Oh, I can't ask her to become my vassal? That's not fair. Alright, how much money do you have, actually? 3690? You have more money than me. You're not poor. Hmm. Wow. You're really not willing to give me much for your for your life, huh? And this is with an ancillary and two food per turn. Wow. I'm more willing to give away ancillaries than I am food. Food per turn's a big deal for me, lady. Should 
should I be doing this or should I just try and kill her? There's no way I can take that garrison and her at the same time. Hmm. This is hard, a hard call. I'm thinking about taking it. Just because... She's not really a threat. War atrocities? What war atrocities have I committed? I try not to kill people. You know, I'll take the piece for now. As you wish. So we peaced out with her. We'll let her keep her little horse farm for now. Maybe that was a mistake, but I am... Not particularly interested in waiting for her to come out, you know? Avoid diversions. I want to amplify my silk trade because each of these buildings increases your faction-wide silk income. So the more that we have, the more it kind of just multiplies on top of itself. And it's open. It's free. It's free real estate. <laughs> I shall not waver. Sorry. Okay. We actually almost have 4,500, which is what we need for the quest, so... Even though it's going to tell me to spend it. Ugh. Maybe it was a bad idea to pick that. I don't know. We know for next time, though. That was my first time encountering that dilemma. I think. Here she comes. Let's just uh, get inside real quick. The Alliance of Sima Liang declared war on the Alliance of Jin Empire. On Alliance Jin Empire. Is she even in an alliance? He? Huh. That's actually funny because, uh, well, Zhang Zhengli signed peace with Sima Liang. We have obtained our next level of research, but I think, wasn't it Sima Liang that the Empress accused of treason or something? Because he's actually Sima Yi's son. Unlike me. <laughs> what am I doing? Research. That's what I'm doing. I got distracted. Uh, replenishment, please. What else can we even get? I like Cav. I like me some medium Cav. Do my Chiang shock Cav count as medium? Income from commerce, available trade agreements. Administrator position? I think we need that next. We don't have too much corruption at the moment. But we will soon. <laughs> Sooner rather than later, probably. Don't spend the money. Don't spend the money. I know you want to. Just don't do Embrace it. impulse. To Give war. me silk. To battle. I'm a decisive victory this. We outwitted them. Oof. Dow Sword Guard, you did your job. This location suits our plans. Garrison Games. Following the town's capture, you are asked what should be done with the imprisoned men of the town's former garrison. They appear to be competent soldiers who might prove useful if enlisted, but many harbor loyalties to their previous warlord and display a reluctance to serve you. Hmm. We need all the money we can get, so unfortunately that. Beloved Lord, I almost want to pick this just because with the beloved governor. There's some adversary. No. I think it's between Persuade Them and Beloved Lord. Because I really like Replenishment. Our Dao Sword God are almost dead. I think we need to take the Replenishment. Appealing to the prisoners yourself, you assured them that serving you would bring them glory, riches, and the chance to see faraway lands. I mean, where's the lie? We're the best. Remain flexible. So here is Sima Gong. We would beat this army if we encountered it, but I'm afraid of the garrison. That's actually pretty weak. This would be a close fight, I think. They have more frontline than I do, but I have more cav. We've moved into the city to defend it from Kong Zhenwen, whose army is apparently more powerful than just my stack. Understandable. If we end our turn, we'll complete the quest, so we'll do that. Then we'll probably end up spending our money at long last. But we have one more assignment, don't we? We completed Wu Du. Yes. So we definitely want this here. Lu Ji is more upset than Lu Ji. More money. 
I love multiplying my gold income. It's just the greatest thing ever. Oh my. So, four non-aggression pacts. He would like 2300 gold, a regular payment of 117 gold, my war axe, and my warrior's reinforced leather. Ask me for more, would you? I wonder what type of path would lead me... I would go down if I actually tried to befriend the Jin Empire. Ooh, see, Magong's coming. Yes. My foolish brother. We have raised 4,500 gold. Mission success. Spend or save. Some time ago, you gave the Empress your word that she would sequester funds for the war effort. She comes to you now, demanding that money be delivered in full. How do you answer her demands? Hmm. Give some of what was asked. I feel like we would give what was asked. This would befriend the Jin Empire a little bit and give us income from all sources. That wouldn't replenish the 2,000 we've lost, though. I think we should try and get to the next level of wealth affinity. So we'll give some of what was asked. You can only offer what you are able. The Empress will have to make do. Because we have a hate, a love-hate relationship with the Empress. Mostly hate. Unify in one direction. But aiding her will sometimes aid the people. Now, we cannot allow her to continue to uh, attrition us by besieging our little uh, salt mine here. So we're going to kill her. The AI believes this shall be a valiant defeat. I, however, believe it won't. Any obstacle can be overcome by our unyielding spirit. That's the spirit. Haha. -ha. Our only option is victory. See it done. Michelle. I hope. Probably. Onward. Now. Okay, they're right here. We have this lovely little uh, outlet of water. But I hate fighting over water. <laughs> so we're going over here. Oh, actually. Also, our reinforcements are coming from right here. So it's a good idea to kind of pull back and let the enemy come to us, as it were. Over here, Chishong. I'm going to need you to beat the brakes off of this vanguard for me. All right? Thank you. At last! Our reinforcements are arriving! At last. Take warriors. We weren't waiting that long. They came in basically right away. I feel like, anyway. No fire arrows or anything. I should have pressed this earlier. But there's the fast forward button. The eye is coming to us. Because we were besieged by them. Which is very rude, by the way. My salt mine needs to make me money. It's one of my few actual sources of income. They do have some cavalry, which I do not. The only advantage they really have over us. Maybe I moved too, early, too late. Eh, it's okay. At the ready. Doesn't want to duel? Bro, come on. Quick march. I'm here to fight. Prepare. What are you here to do? Move out quickly. I think these guys are going to go on an adventure. Ready. Bowman. Stand ready. Ooh, they have fire Ten. arrows. Go. So I think go. these guys are going to go Move wander quickly. off. Ooh, to they're about to get run down by a cav. Be ready. Hurry. Move. Here's the plan. Take heat, warriors. I hope. Blades. These guys pull back. The, enemy the spears tie running. these guys up. Ha! And then they go around. The uh, 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 ow. The it's okay. Just don't break. You can do it. I believe in you. The Guess the spears are getting in. No, nope, they broke. Crap. That was my bad. Bad micro. Uh. No move, move. Go, go, go. Hopefully that doesn't screw too much over. Be and they might recover, actually. 
But my plan was to try and get these guys to run in the back. Uh-oh, our front line is breaking. It's okay. I think. Does the Axe Band need help? I don't know. But it's okay. We'll just shoot them to death. I wanted the Spears to be fighting the Strategists, but uh, it would seem... That they have been called to a higher purpose of chasing off archers. archers prepare. Wait, why are you moving forward? Archers. We are oh, breaking the, the vanguard. Craven. Craven dogs. Spearmen, stand ready. Fight. Okay, Don't now just ready. shoot everything. Take heat, warriors. Spearmen attend. Yes. Charge. The horsemen have been pushed off by the spears. We have a bunch of archers in guard mode. That means that they will continue firing, even if they're under attack. Turn to face. They weren't braced, but they turned at least. Do I have my... 20 seconds. Spears are not the best chasing units. Surprise, surprise. The enemy run. Kill him. Arrows. We've broken the vanguard. Come on, Axe Band, you can do it. The enemy general falls. Down he goes. So now we just have to chase down the strategists, and all the leadership will be eradicated. Hopefully I can kill all of them. Ooh, she's actually enraged. Oh, I won't be able to use my ability, though. That's fine. I think. <laughs> Should be okay. Where are my spearmen now? Right there. Alright, we'll turn them around. They're probably really slow. Not slow. Tired. But, uh, that's okay. It does. Do not let them escape. Kill them all. I like to kill all the generals. Make sure they do not escape alive. The enemy general falls. I think it increases your chances of capturing them. Oh, I think she's going to get away. No. Rip. She did. A little sloppy on my part, but overall, I think it went well. Uh, can I actually catch anything? It's just that the, rain, the uh, cavalry breaking my swords guard right away was not uh, good. Uh. I should have at least braced them if I wasn't going to get away. But hey, lessons to be learned. Axe Band putting in work. They do do more damage than... Do do. <laughs> what am I, a two-year-old? They do more damage than Sword Guard. But they aren't quite as durable, I don't think. Oh. We got a nice robe. Fa Lan Jiang. She's uncomplicated, agile, and feared. What? <laughs> so, she'll actually join us. Unfortunately, money isn't our biggest strength. She's 45. We'll release her. Free them all. I'll take the money too. It would be unjust to punish them further. That's why we're going in again. <laughs> I released her just so I could capture her a second time. That was very impressive. We won with integrity. Now let us celebrate with abandon. Sure. More money. Let the captives go. I am more myself than ever. Kong Zhenwen has passed away. Fallen in battle. And her successor is a regent, Yuan Kao. So their faction heir must not be old enough. So I think... I am at one again. We are now actually safe to go this way and claim the armor craftsman. The mine is damaged, so we will repair it. What do we do about no. this? So he is in force march. I cannot. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The real question is can Shi Chao beat beat? Impossible. Sima Gong. The answer's looking like no. Well, I want to give you this axe. There we go. 
The reason I think the answer is no. Ooh, nice horse. Is just because, besides the fact that he's a champion, he is a champion and he has, well, we might be able to now. Honestly, it's either now or never, I think. Wait, I can't even get that far. Oh, it's going to take so many turns. All right, we're going to sit here then. Chang'an is, of course, an option as well. This Jade Mine is incredibly profitable. 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 Yes, profitable. That's what it is. I kind of want to increase this. We should have enough still next turn. Yeah, we'll have enough next turn. We'll start the Silk Money coming. Gu Yan Yan has leveled up. She is slightly dissatisfied. Ooh. Were we heading for industrial exploitation? It's kind of looking like we wanted her to be an administrator. Because she gets plus five noble support. Which would mean we go this way. Zeal is also really good. So we can either make her commander type character, in which she goes bravery, perception, zeal. Probably adamant resolve. Or we can go administration type thing, where you go scholarship, intuition. You are spiteful. Ugh. Direct. Reflect charge is pretty good. Composed and stalwarts. This minus four satisfaction is pretty brutal. She's currently exploiting the black markets. We'll get her the next thing, and then we might make her a administrator. I don't know. I was also thinking about marrying her to uh, Sima Ying. Sima Ying. Because he's currently not married. Shi Xiong. He is our chancellor. And currently fighting in the south. This would be good just for... Night battles. Honestly. We'll go bravery. I want tenacity of steel. Tenacity of steel is such a good point. Good talent. Do you give satisfaction? You give instinct and satisfaction. You have pretty good armor. You have great armor. Great armor. Pretty good armor. Crap. You also have good armor. So we now have two of these, huh? We can sell it. To whom? I have no idea. Who duh? Oh, your lack of purpose. Well. I'm not sure what to tell you, Herda. Who duh? Duh? Intimidating, philanthropic, and vigilance. Not sure. I think we're going to go one more turn and see where this moot guy moves. And then call it a day. So I will once again posit my question to everyone watching. He is coming for me. Wow. Really? Zhang Zhangli would like peace. She is to our immediate north. She also controls Chang'an. If we take this, we could focus all of our efforts on Sima Wei. You know what? Let's talk. Because I'd like to get more out of this. How about this? And a clay warrior. You know, clay warriors are great. You put them on your shelf. You take them on nice long walks. You probably don't walk a clay warrior. Oof. She is poor. Oh yeah, very poor. How much will you give me, though? Okay, this isn't bad. I'm okay with this. Honestly, I should probably hold my really expensive strategist armor and sell it later. But this money now is pretty helpful. 1300 Because we aren't trying to get an armor 
workshop anyway, which will just give us stuff like this. So I think, look, she's going to like us more if we do it this way. So 1,280 gold piece, gave her some ancillaries. We don't have to worry about losing Wudu from the back door. Yuan Kao has passed away. And is, the faction is now led by Yuan Shang Zhen. We signed peace with Jiang Zhang, Jiang Zhang Li, and the Jade Bird. Over tea, you tell your general of your dream of a Jade Bird. The general takes a long sip of their tea, places the count down, and looks you in the eye. A vision of a Jade Bird is an auspicious prophecy, the Jade indicating imperial matters, and the Bird, a being that can traverse the gap between Earth and Heaven. Shi Xiao and Sima Ying are a little closer, and we get bonus experience for our beloved know. governor. This is the dumbest thing I think you've ever done, Sima Gong. I really do think that. Too bad our ambush chance is pretty low. I think we're just going to wait until he gets closer and then attack him while he's in Force March. I think that's the Remain plan. Poised. Towards victory. Yes, onwards to victory. Is there anything we can upgrade cheaply? It's not looking like it. So, on that note, I will leave you with the question that I asked earlier. Emperor or Regent? What is the path for our beloved governor? <laughs>